All right, here we go with another tutorial looking at some grots. Uh, Going to show you how to do the skin on the grot orderlies, ammo runs, grot riggers, all that sort of thing. Here's a couple examples of stuff that I've done in the past. So um, starting off with a Death World Forest base coat and doing some of the base coats there as well. Uh, Bale tan uh, green is going to be my shade here. So getting the nice liberal coat of wash on there. You can just see how it flows into all the crevices and it's going to give me nice uh, shades for all those uh, deeper areas. And then I'm doing Agrax Earthshade on the rest of the colors here. So this is the ammo rent from the knobs pack. And uh, same idea for any grots, Gretchen, whatever you want to call them for anything else. So just doing uh, some Agrax on the silvers and all that. And that helps uh, tone it down. Once that's dry, I'm doing uh, Elysian Green on all the flesh areas. So just painting up the highlights. The first layer here, just trying to avoid any of the shadows. Blend it a little bit with the base and the shade that are already there and uh, get all the tone on the muscle and that sort of thing. So as you can see, just painting it on pretty quickly, not trying to get everything exact. Uh, you know, if you were doing a special character or something special, then you might want to spend more time blending that. Uh, going on now with Ogren Camo um, on all the raised edges of things here. And so using a really fine brush now, getting the knuckles, that sort of thing, just edges of some of the muscles and painting around all the stuff there. So that's going to blend a little bit with the previous uh, highlight and that'll give you a nice look for your layers on all the uh, all the different uh, textures there. Uh, now the next uh, one is an optional Krieg khaki uh, edge paint. So you can either mix a little bit of uh, one of the bleached uh, bone sort of colors um, with the Ogren camo to get this sort of a look or you can use the edge paints, whatever you prefer. And just going along, just getting just some of the finest highlights on things. Then uh, highlighting up some of the leather bits of the loincloth with Scrag Brown. Uh, so if you wanted to do these with your clan colors, say if you were doing Goths or Evil Sons, you could do this a different color, but just to give you an idea. Deathclaw Brown now for any of the other highlights, just getting the edges on there, uh, just to give a bit more definition on that leather stuff. And then some Runefang steel uh, highlighting up the edges on the silver just to look like it's scraped through a bit, giving some scratches here, there, and everywhere. And uh, for some of the silver or metal, metallic bits, I did it as a brass, so using some Rune Lord brass here just to highlight some of that, just to give it a bit of a different look than the other silvers. Again, if you're doing uh, clan colors, you could do that reds or yellows, whatever it happens to be. And then a little bit of detail on the eyes here, just painting those in. I'm not sure if those are meant to be the lower eyelid or not, but I did them as the eyes. So here's the painting guide uh, to give you an idea of how I did it. And all these will be on my blog as uh, permanent guides there. You can check out the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Let me know if you have any suggestions, any other rec requests, different videos. And I uh, hope you uh, like this. Make sure you share it and subscribe so you get notifications for future videos. See you next time.